I want to start by asking you um, how you're doing with your sort of online performances now, and particularly what we just talked about. You, you've started sh the shows must go on. And it's not just for entertainment, although it is. What's the bigger purpose um, as you decided to put Phantom and the others, you know, streaming? Well, I, one of the most important things is we were able to, if people wish to donate to the Actors Fund, that's really terrific. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. I've been doing my bit as a producer through Broadway Cares, but um, that it's a, it's a wonderful way of being able to help. But also at this point, I mean, I've been very lucky in my career, and I think it's a way of giving something back to the audiences who've you know been so good to me. And uh, it maybe it also introduces people to the theatre who may not have even thought of going to a theatre. You never know. And, and Phantom, of course, is the first one. It's on now. And um, it, it, it obviously, the, he knows, the Phantom knows a little bit about um, being in lockdown because he's locked under the opera. Tell us a little bit about how it relates, how Phantom relates to this moment we're going through. Well, I, I don't know that he specifically, other than the fact that he wears a mask, I don't think <laughs> there know, is a... And, and, and no, I, well, don't, I think that... It, that the, the Phantom really is is a, an extraordinary love story, and uh, I, I think one mm. has to think of it as that. Um, but um, uh, the, the production that you can see today is the 25th anniversary concert of it that was um, was shot in London about five years ago now, six years ago, and um, it was done in the Albert Hall. It's not in the theatre, but it's a it is a very very fine production, and uh, I think we were all very pleased with it. And look, just, just to, to give it some more resonance, some of the song lyrics are appropriate. I mean, there's this one, wishing you were somehow here again, wishing you were somehow near. A little bit like uh, what many people are going through in isolation. You just heard uh, Esther Perel, the relationship um, guru, talking about how difficult it is. But you've also, yourself, I think you've got a, a, a musical that I think has been either stopped before it started or, or closed very quickly, Cinderella. Oh yes, well, it hasn't closed. No, um, it's uh, it had been stopped in its tracks. I mean, we were supposed to be doing a workshop mm -hmm. for the last mm -hmm. three weeks, uh, not being able to do it. Although thanks to Zoom calls and things, we've been able to continue with all the writing, and we've been able to make sure that we finished it. Of course, quite when we're going to be able to put it on now is an open question because the big question all of us are asking is when is it going to be possible to go back to the theatre again? When it, when are the theatres going to be open? And then of course. Um, even when the theatres are open, our audience is going to feel safer uh, to go. Uh, but I think we've got a, a moment now, I think um, particularly on Broadway, where I, I think it, it's very, very important that everybody pulls together.